What's going on guys? Clint here with Classic Firearms. And guys, if we got a treat for you. We've got some more FN Browning High Powers and I'm excited to talk about these some. Well, actually, no, I'm excited to bring Ben in here and talk about them some. He was instrumental in getting these for us here and he's got all the details on them. So Ben, won't you join me again, please, sir? All right, thank you, Clint. You got it. Always a treat to appear on camera with you, the legend. <laughs> Jeez. Here we go again. <laughs> More legendary than that. Can you pick both of us up in this frame here, oh, yeah. Ryan, if I stand over here? Okay. More legendary than that, though, is original FN Herstal Browning High Powers. Unbelievable. Wouldn't you know the first one I've got has got an aftermarket grip on them, but yeah. some of them do. Clint, if you want to lay a couple of these up here sure. as well while I talk, we'll just keep them kind of all facing this direction. That one's got an original grip. Let me tell you the deal on these things, folks. A little over a month ago, we were very fortunate, very blessed to get a small quantity of original FN Belgium Browning High Powers. Now that original is important because there have been tons of clones of these, but nothing is as true and holds the value like an original Belgium Browning High Power. And the response to that small lot of guns was incredible. We knew it was gonna do really good, yeah. I didn't expect the response that it had. We sold out very quickly. And even after we sold out, customers were calling up and begging. I felt like we had won the lottery. It was like a long lost cousin was calling me every day saying, Ben, yeah. <laughs> I, I know you're bound to have some more of those high powers hidden away somewhere. Can you, can you get me one? Can right. you get me two? Can you get me another matching set? Mm -hmm. Well, truth is we had not seen true Belgian Browning high powers in years. I mean, I, I've been doing this 25 years. I hadn't seen them in forever, not in any substantial quantity. Yeah. You would see onesie twosie popping up on some of the boards or something, you know, private individual selling them, but you couldn't find them in quantity. So based on that, that type of uh, response that we had, which was just amazing, I said, we got to do something to try to find some more. So Clint, honestly, I went out and overturned every stone, called in every favor, talked to every importer I knew. Yeah. We, we just went on a mission to try to find some more Belgian Browning high powers. And it was like looking for the Holy Grail. I mean, they were tough to find. Right. But as you can see, we have a couple of more crates here. Now, before we get into the unveil, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into something taboo here because we try to never do this. A Couple of things you never do, and we've learned to never do this. You never say, these are the last ones. Right. You never say, get them now because there aren't gonna be any more. You never say that because surely as you do, number one, people are gonna say you're trying to create drama. And <laughs> you don't need to create drama around Browning High Powers. They're too hard to get, right? right? And then the other thing is, without fail, as soon as you say there'll never be any more, some pop up somewhere. Because people will see them in the video and say, hey, I got a small cache of that, and they'll call us. And certainly, folks, let me say this now. If you've got a small cache of Browning High Powers, call us. We want them, right? Yeah, I, I agree. We do. But I will say this, and I can say this as true. So let's not assume anything or let's not throw anything presumptuous out there. But for years, we didn't have any access to them. Mm -hmm. I searched high and low and exhausted every resource that we could exhaust to try to find this small lot. There may be more out there, but if there are, I'm not aware of them. I don't know where to find them. Right. If you ask me to find more next week or what have you, unless something pops up I don't know about, I'm just not aware of them. Now, again, if you got a bunch of them, guys, somebody please call us because we want them. Now, having said that, let's concentrate on the guns we have. I see you're already looking for the shiny object. I know you, right? You're uh, looking. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> right. So, like, similar to this guy here, we're already noticing a couple of different variations in just the grips. Right, right. And Come on in. At yeah. least these were pretty bad. Up. Yeah. And they're they're nice. kept off of one another for us. According to the importer, and that's what I'm seeing here, these are going to have a little bit of a wider range of quality as far as cosmetically. Okay. I think... Some may be a little better, some may be a little worse. The last ones we had and were very consistent, mm -hmm. kind of the good cusp of very good type of thing. Yeah. I would say from what I'm seeing here and from what the importer told us, that we're gonna be looking at solid mechanical functional pistols, but maybe a little more holster wear, maybe a little more cosmetics than we saw on some of the lower end ones. Right. So cosmetically, the lower end of good mechanically certainly excellent 
And as with all surplus and police turn in, you're gonna see that the grips vary depending on the individual preference of the officer who had it at that time. Right. What are you coming across there? We're just, we're just yeah. randomly opening guns. But. Right, so I got, this one's got the Hogue grips on it. Some bluing wear here. Looks like probably holster wear. But man, still, if, I'm sure you're like me. If they could talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have the story when Such was in here and going through the warehouse tour and he and I had an entire conversation like if I could only listen to the stories that these guns had. Sure. Look at this one. These are Pack Myers. Oh yeah. So that one's got Pack Myers on it. But the original Belgian Brownie. And after seeing your live fire on the last small lot that we had, yeah. and you went out and had one of these things in your hand and pulled the trigger on it. Yeah. I mean, the, the quality is just there. You feel that original quality. I have shot clones. Mm -hmm. I don't know that, even in all my time in the business, I don't know that I had ever originally shot an FN Belgian Browning, and I since have. Yeah. And I've got to have one of these myself. <laughs> yeah, they're so smooth and so sleek. Yes, they are smooth operating pistols. I, I like it a lot. And you got yeah. your back to the camera. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. But there you go. You're too handsome <laughs> you to turn Sorry. your back to the camera. Look at the people, Clint. For goodness sakes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm over here just <laughs> drooling again, as I typically do whenever we get some surplus pistols in. But no, I did do a live fire on these, and it shoots great. Now these are still the aluminum alloy frames, so they're lightweight, which is great. I think last time we weighed them, they came in under two pounds, and man, so you feel the recoil. You notice it a little bit more but it's nothing that's not manageable. It's, it's a nine millimeter pistol. You, you can't go wrong. You got the quality, effing browning. Ah. F-N browning. Yeah, effing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> F-N browning, yes. Fabrique Nationale. That's, yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> but yes, man, absolutely love these pistols. So cool. I love it too. I'm like yeah. a kid in a candy store and I'm jaded, right? Right. <laughs> nothing, you know that, nothing about guns excites me anymore. Oh yeah. But no. true. Fabrique Nationale yeah. high powers. Yeah, that's get me pretty darn excited. Yeah, these things are so cool. Now you'll notice again, like Ben mentioned before, a little bit more wear on these. But hey, I'll say it every video. I love the ones that show a little bit more character. <laughs> well, there are some with more wear. Yeah. And I think you know, I wrote up the ad on these yesterday, and we tried to make that clear. There's a wider variety or a wider gap yeah. of cosmetic condition quality. Right. But it's simply limited cosmetics. What I'm trying to say is there was a little more holster wear on some of these than there were previously. Right. On the other hand, it's a wide gap. Some of the very nice ones that I'm seeing are maybe better than anything I saw in the yeah. previous batch. For that reason, what we decided to do, and it's in the ad, and folks, I encourage you to read the ad on these. Read the Brutus description, watch the entirety of the video, because we're gonna do some pans later and let you see the quality of them. But for that reason, we are selling these by grade, we're selling them as grade A, grade B, and grade C. Cool. Uh, let's grab, let's just look for examples, or do you want to do that in the video room? We'll pick one out. Yeah, let's do that in the video okay. room. That way we can get better pans. That way we can like just that. continue with looking at really cool pisters yeah. for now. <laughs> yeah. This is probably enough for this crate. You want to yeah, stack these down and move over yeah. to the other crate let's, take a look? Let's do that. Let's Very do good. That. I was so happy to be able to find these. Yeah, me too. Let's take a look. We'll move on around. All right. Open up this one to see if we see anything different. I think it's going to be more of the same. Okay. Again, I'm really glad. Be careful if yeah, I got this some one's sticking out. All messed up. I'm really glad that uh, they individually bagged these. Sometimes they're just stacked all on top of one another. Yeah. But take a look at that one with the original grip. I don't know that it'll sit there. I'm trying to get it to. <laughs> it's not cooperating. Yeah, I think I think we'll get pans. Make it easy. Okay, there we go. Fine. <laughs> there he's got it. <laughs> yeah, that is a good looking one. One thing that I, too. I'm sorry, Clint. I tried oh, no, to talk on top of no, you. I'm a loud fine. mouth. You are fine. I'm just showing showing this one off as well. Good. Yeah. Oh no, I haven't seen. There's that. another. Yeah. That's nice. One thing that I found interesting in going through the serial number list that we have with these, now the guys in the warehouse haven't gone through the crate, but I do have the serial number list. Mm -hmm. And we have several original consecutive serial numbers within this batch. So let me explain that. We're gonna have some two gun sets and some three gun sets 
that have original serial numbers, and as far as I've seen, everything is matching serial numbers on these guns, yeah. that will have original serial numbers that match from one gun to the next. Now that's the first one is one, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. The next yeah. one is one, two, three, four, five, seven. Right. Right, for example. Mm -hmm. So if you're a husband and wife that enjoy shooting together, mm -hmm. If you got two sons, two daughters, a son and a daughter, I'm trying right. to be gender equality here. <laughs> uh, whatever the case may be, that would be a great collectible set to pick up with matching serial numbers and it's so difficult to find. Yeah. If you think yeah. of all of these guns that they've sold to be able to find them with consecutive serial numbers, mm -hmm. the two guns that came off of the production floor, one behind the other, right. it's amazing, it's an amazing find. We had so many requests for that last time. Yeah. And fortunately this group has some more of that as well. We have actually got one run of seven numbers that are all consecutive. Seven numbers. Oh wow. So if you've got, you know, if you were on a, you're in the military, if yeah. you had a small squad of guys that get yeah. together every year or whatever, you want consecutive number guns, we've got at least one lot that'll be under custom options that have that. that How cool, cool is that? Yeah. So hey, all of my Marines, hey, buy me, buy me these. <laughs> Very good. What else can you think of, Clint? I know I'm leaving something out. Oh man, I, I don't know. These things are so cool. Um, we did say before that they are aluminum frame, but they're riding on steel. Is that correct? That is. That's right. The yeah. frame or the slide itself mm -hmm. rides on a steel rail that's built into the aluminum, so you don't have to worry about steel wearing against aluminum. Yeah. I think it's the best of both worlds. Oh, you feel do. how good they balance. Oh, yeah. They're lightweight, you can yeah. carry them all day, but you've still got the this construction quality of the steel on steel, so it works out really, really well. Yeah, which is very cool, so. All right, is that enough for the mm. unveil? I think so. Well, I guess it's gonna be up to the viewers <laughs> when they see it, if they think that's enough, but man, these guys, they, Ben's absolutely right. These are gorgeous pistols, they're awesome. And you know, we're, we're not promising the most beautiful looking pistol. Actually, I think they're beautiful, but as far as cosmetic goes, you're gonna see a little bit more wear right back here, but I don't think that detracts from it. To each their own, however, but like Ben said, we're gonna offer them in sep separate grades. So do what you will with that. And of course, we'll have our hand select option. And guys, we'll make sure we send you out a good one if that's what you're looking for. But man, I think these things are so cool. Yeah, we've got a little yeah. different cost point in these yeah. guns. Mm -hmm. They were very difficult to obtain. Yeah. We had to step up to the plate. So we've got a little different price point on these guns. But we're doing everything we can to keep that base price point as affordable as possible considering what you're getting. So if you don't mind a gun with a little bit of patina yeah. on it, a little bit of carry wear, mechanically it's every bit as good as the other one yep. and you'll save some money. So that'll be our baseline gun, grade B, will be a little nicer cosmetically. Yep. Again, mechanically, I wouldn't give you a nickel's difference between any of them because right. they're all gonna function the same way on the range, right? Right. Or if you want the nicest of the nice, get grade A. If you really want the nicest of the nice, yeah. uh, choose the hand select and we will select within that grade to get you the very best one that we have once they're all separated and graded out. Right, exactly. So guys, don't miss out on these. I think uh, Ryan's gonna get us a couple of pans of the different grades of what we can expect in that lot i guess you could say correct all right sounds yep. good clint thanks cool. for letting me sit in i'm gonna get out of here carry on you got it yes sir all right guys and i absolutely love these high powers they're so cool man excellent little shooters too these ones look so good as well i mean i could sit here all day and play with them i think matt actually might be aren't you matt yep <laughs> so guys yeah so don't miss out on these uh definitely take a look at them and you know what I'm done kind of talking about them here. Let's go into the video room and let's talk a little bit more about what you can expect with the different grades and do that reminder about the giveaway. Let's go into the video room. All right guys, so we're back in the video room now. We've got our C, B, and A grade, a couple of custom options and something pretty special I want to get into here in just a moment. But let's go ahead and check out what these C grade pistols will look like. And the grading on these, one going to make this clear, is not going to affect the functionality of these pistols. They'll all work the same. You've got mags that are working, locking back, dropping, resetting, safety, working. So perfect. So that's what we're looking for. But all this, the grading is referring to is the cosmetics. So C grade, you can expect to at least have 50% of your bluing. And that's what you're seeing on this guy here. Quite a bit of bluing wear right on the bottom of the uh, trigger guard on the grip itself. But overall, I still think it's a great looking gun. And it, you guys know me, I love the character, right? So I love having, you know, just, if these guns could talk, like I was telling Ben, like I've mentioned so many times before, the story behind these guys, this gun would probably say, yeah, well, the officer that had me 
wouldn't put me down. He liked it so much, probably. So that's along the lines of what you can expect for a C grade, one of our high powers. Let's take a look at the B grade. B grade, we're saying 65% uh, or better bluing on these guys that you can see right here. And there it is on the reverse. So again, not bad looking pistols overall. You'll see somewhere right on the slide, but looking a little bit better than the C grade as far as the bluing goes and the cosmetics, but not bad. Again, functions just fine. We are good there all day. Safety works, we're great. And let's take a look at our A grade. A grade we're saying is gonna have 80% or better bluing wear. And that's what you'll see with this guy here. There it is. Good looking guns, wow. I like high powers. These things are so cool. Shooting them's even better. So take a look at that. And of course, we'll also offer our hand select on these as well, or hand pick. So depending on what grade you want, if you want the best of the C, B, or A grade, you have that option. And the same runs true for a couple that we found on the way over here and the custom option arena. So this is just a sample of one of our custom options. I think we're probably gonna have a few, but we were digging through, found a few of them with some night sights. And this one right here is true dot night sights and also an extended safety. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Now, <laughs> we're definitely not gonna guarantee the life on the night sights. It kind of caught us by surprise when I saw it or when we saw them there. And also too with the extended safety that you see right there. So we'll, we will also offer hand select on our custom option ones if that's something that you really desire. And of course, you know, some of them come with the different grips. We're not gonna guarantee you're offering custom options on the grips because they're varying all over the place. And I think it would just get a little complicated there to go for custom options on the grips. But speaking of grips, we've got something pretty special over here. And these are these rosewood grips that we've got in. And man, these things are gorgeous. Take a look at that and the finish on these. And I think they complement the FN Browning High Power so well. I mean, I couldn't help myself. I had to throw them on there just to see how it would look. And that right there, I think is just phenomenal. So take a look at these rosewood grips. Check out the description that I wrote up for it in Brutus's description. I think you guys will see that they are just, they feel great, they're gorgeous. And I, like I said, I think they complement the high power so well. If you're one of the guys that, you know, you're really looking for a, you know, a, an all original pistol, I get it. But look how good these grips look. <laughs> so don't miss out on these rosewood grips as well. Great texture, great feel to them. And I think I absolutely love them. So check out our different grades, C, B, and A. We've got a few custom options on our high powers. And of course, these rosewood grips. And a big thing you shouldn't forget about is the fact that we're giving away a big gun right now, which is the, brown, or excuse me, I was talking about browning all day, the Barrett M82A1. This is a 50 caliber semi-automatic rifle, 10 rounds in the box mag. Gotta love that in the Vortex PST. Check out the live fire demo we did on this gun with uh, the YouTuber Tavarish, Lamborghinis and 50 cows. What a great day. So check out our video with Tavarish on that. Check out our high powers and all of our different grades and custom options. And also too, those gorgeous rosewood grips. So don't miss out guys, get those entries in. We always appreciate you and your business. God bless, God bless the USA. And we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.